This is example three of chapter seven permeability. In in this example, we are asked to estimate the rate of seepage of uh, basic water flowing through an inclined soil layer. And if you look at this uh, problem setup, so the direction of the seepage is given. So this is an inclined uh, permeable layer, and this, basically that angle alpha, this angle of inclination alpha, is eight degree. Okay, so we have this alpha value, and we know the height of this layer, that's capital H, and we are also given permeability or hydraulic conductivity for this permeable layer. Okay. And to calculate the rate of seepage, so we need to use Darcy's law. If you recall Darcy's law, Q equals to Kia, and I is the hydraulic gradient, so it's K times head loss over distance. So let's use delta H to, for head loss and the corresponding distance water travels is L times cross-sectional area A. Okay. So that's the equation we're going to use to estimate rate of seepage. And so the key here is to find what is the head loss, what is the distance, and what is the cross-sectional area. So let me use this slide here. In Darcy's law, recall that A. A is the cross-sectional area, but it's a cross-sectional area perpendicular to the flow. So it's cross-sectional area perpendicular to flow. And for this example here, we know the direction of the flow. So this is the flow direction. So the angle is alpha. 8 degree from horizontal. Okay, so that's 8 degree from horizontal. So that angle is alpha. And then the perpendicular direction. Okay, so you draw a line perpendicular to this 8 degree slope. So that is the perpendicular direction A. Okay, and H is 3 meter. Okay, so this A is basically H and alpha is this angle here. So this is angle alpha. Okay. And A is basically H times cosine alpha. Okay. And H is 3, so A is basically 3 times cosine alpha. Okay. And then the uh, distance, so L in Darcy's law. So that distance is the, uh, it's a distance parallel to flow direction. Parallel to flow. And if we focus on this two points here, so let's call this point A and this, so let's call this point small a and small b. Okay. So the head loss from point A to point B is basically the drop of the water table. So we have that water line. So remember that's the water table line. So that distance or that head loss is, so this side is S. And this is angle alpha. So that's S times tangent alpha. Okay, so that's head loss. And then the corresponding distance parallel to flow is this side here. Okay, so this side is S divided by cosine alpha. Okay. So we have A of H times cosine alpha. And that L, that corresponding distance, is S over cosine alpha. Okay. And that delta H, that head loss, is S times tangent alpha. Okay. So now we have all these geometries, uh, geometries. Then we can calculate the hydraulic gradient, uh, small i, which is delta H over L. And if you substitute L and delta H, S cancels out. So you're left with just sine alpha. Okay. Now back to Darcy's law. So the rate of seepage, Q equals to KIA. Okay. And this K is given 5.3 times 10 to negative 5. And that's centimeter per second, or meter per second. And then small i hydraulic gradient is sine alpha 
where alpha is 8 degrees and then a is 3 times cosine alpha h is 3 so it's 3 times cosine 8 and finally we need to convert unit okay. so this is meter per second okay. and sine alpha sine 8 is uh, unitless h is in meter so if you work out this, the num the the final result is given. Uh, if you're using this, is basically uh, meter cube per second. And if you want to calculate seepage quantity in um, meter per hour, you have to time this by thirty six hundred. Okay. So this converts to basically second to hour. So if you substitute all these numbers, you are going to get 0 0.0789. And this is meter square per hour. So area here is given length unit. So the this is meter square per hour, and because area is given as a length unit, so this is basically meter square per per unit width. So this is unit width into this paper. Okay, so we are considering just the unit width. So the final number, the final results can be written as 789 meter cube per hour per unit width. So this unit width is into the paper. So we're only considering a cross section of unit width. So that's the final result. 0.0789 meter cube per hour per minute.